Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday, we are going to see Jesus cure a leper. Now, what we have to understand about leprosy is this was pretty much a death sentence if you had leprosy that wasn't going away. People would outcast you. You'd have to live on the outskirts of society. Nobody wanted to be around you. So this leper implores Jesus, tells him, I know that if you will it, you can cure me. And Jesus says, I do. I will it. And he cures him, but it comes with a warning. He instructs him. He says, go to the temple you know, do all the prescribed things that Moses uh, put down in the law in Exodus and Leviticus, and that will be enough proof. Well, this guy doesn't quite pay attention to all of that. Instead, he goes and he tells everybody what Jesus did, so much so that Jesus couldn't enter into any towns because he was just too popular. Everybody wanted to see him. Everybody was bringing everyone else who was sick to him. So he stayed on the outskirts. And he never could enter the city during that time. Now, what I find remarkable here is the faith of this leper, right? He says, if you will it, I know you can heal me. He knew. He knew the power of Jesus's actions. But did he understand the power of Jesus's words? You know, sometimes in my life, I look too much for the miraculous instead of paying attention to what's already been laid down in front of me. You know, sometimes we make deals with God. You know, if you do this, then we'll do this. And whatever it is, and we look for the miraculous signs rather than paying attention to the instructions. What has God instructed you to do today? Who are you supposed to engage with? Who are you supposed to evangelize to? Who are you supposed to forgive? What has he instructed you to do today? Yes, miracles still happen. Healings still happen. But the word of the Lord has always been and will always be today. Let us pay attention to what Jesus says. Thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you next time on Rich Reflections. Yeah.